guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And we are back here in Tiber River. And the reason I came back here, there was actually two. One of which, well, for starters, uh, it's a lot cheaper than going to California. I don't have a unlimited license there, and it is expensive to get one. And the other reason is, is because this is a place where I can test out trolling capabilities. Now, with the type of boat that I have, you technically cannot troll. It doesn't have the attachments like it does in Fishing Planet, uh, the Fisherman. But you can do it. You can make it happen as long as you're holding a rod and the engine's running. So we're going to see if we can't make that happen and see if we can do anything with that might do a little other things checking you know check them out because we're going to be going under this bridge and i wanted to check some asp fishing there so we're going to get in here and check this out guys make sure i have my boat all set i think i do let's see inventory me yes everything's here rod pods there everything's good to go let's go ahead and head on in to Twisty River. And this is the only boat dock on Tiber River. But the nice thing about Tiber River is that you've got a very long fishery that you can just keep going on. Perfect for trolling. I did try it on California, but more difficult because it's not as big of an area. Alright. Now we are in a peak right now, so we're going to come over here. I supposedly crankbaits do very well so I've already got one set up here and we're gonna go ahead and get in our boat and get her started now the trick is is really just to get this thing moving at a very very slow pace now we're gonna have to watch ourselves so we don't go ground but there should be enough length here and I'm gonna take this down like 1% that's all now I'm gonna go ahead and cast my rod and see I'm still going That's how it's done. We are officially trolling and hopefully something will go after it. Before we run aground that is. Yeah, can't navigate it while we're doing this. So we're just basically coasting. <laughs> so I don't think this is too fast or too slow. It seems to be hovering right where it needs to be. I'm getting some blips. Now this, I like I said, I ran into this by accident when I was in California. I don't know if it's going to work. This is why we're testing it here because I tried testing it there and I just kept running aground. This is kind of a big hook, so let's go ahead 
we'll reel this in. Go ahead and get our bearings here. Oh, yep, see, here we go. We were starting to. Yeah, I just wish you had control of the boat, though. <laughs> That's the only thing. Surely it needs it's gonna work. I mean, it, even if it doesn't work, at least we know it can be done. Whoa! <laughs> and we just missed that, didn't we? nothing is going for it maybe it won't work I was just so sure alright let's turn this thing around damn I really thought that might work Anyway, it's worth a try. Everything's worth a try. Sometimes you just don't know unless you give it an attempt. We are going to go under this bridge here because the fishing was great from over there. But what I want to see is how good the fishing is from underneath. about here. Oops. Perfect. Let's see here. Now, there are all kinds of species here. Man, I really wish you could attach your pole to this daggone thing. We're going to see what we can do with what we've got here. Now, I know this is usually works fairly well, but we're going to get C. Is that the one that... Okay, that's heavier. This Thora, I'm going to give that a shot, but we're going to see what that one does, okay? does not seem to be sparking their interest. Alright, fine. Now what have I got on here? This is a Texas rig. Okay, this was... Both of them are Texas rigs. Okay, the nymph. What kind of hook do I have on here? Two odd. Let's go down a little. Well, no, let's stick with that. Let's stick with that. Let's see. Yeah, these guys were hanging out right over here. I 
It sinks pretty fast. There we go. Well, they went with the Texas rig just fine. And look what we caught it with. <laughs> look what we caught it with, guys. We caught it with a Texas rig. Now, I want you to check something here. Let me go ahead and show this to you. I mean, I know he's not huge or anything, but that is extremely crucial because according to the Fishopedia, cut bait shiners, nothing. There is no nothing that states that they go for artificial lures. Yet he did. Yet he did. So there you go. That opens up a whole plethora of opportunities, guys. And they went after a nymph. I've seen them go after crankbaits. Occasionally. But a nymph. Very interesting. Ooh, damn. That was something. Okay, we're going to throw this way over here. Yeah, all this is new, guys. I'm not te uh, this is something I've not tried. We're doing this together. It's the way I like to do things. I love to test things out, try things that are new. Experiment. I'll be damned. Caught another one. <laughs> that is awesome. And that's the little fellas. Hmm. Very interesting, guys. This is very, very interesting. All right. I've got this. Let's see. We're not going to use the t triple runner here. Yeah, this is on a Texas rig as well. Let's see what we could throw on there, guys. I bet you anything. Bet you anything. Let's see, what size hook do I have on here? Three yacht. Let's put a bigger hook on here. This is a bigger pole we can put a bigger hook on. So we're going to put a four yacht on there. And I really want to try something other than that little shad. Let's see here. Something that well, here's some big nymphs. We already know they go for that. I just think this is gonna do it. This jelly crayfish. I could be wrong, but this looks enticing for a catfish. Very enticing. If I was a catfish. <laughs> I would go yummy. All right. Well, we definitely have fish down there. Be a son of a gun. Ha ha ha. Wow. Young Wells catfish. Alright, I think we are just too far out of the peak period at this point. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this over to one of the walkers. And then we're going to go ahead and advance time. Uh, let's see, we have got very little peak period, but the thing is there's a lot of activity at night here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take it to about 8. That'll get it well within. And from there, we'll see what happens. But 
on sunny days it just doesn't do much okay well this is where I used it before and got quite a bit of activity now I know you get up to two couldn't tell you if it's still going to do that or not. I am now at a different perspective. <coughs> there we go. Okay, this guy's fairly big. Jeez. Yeah, the walkers still work very well right here. But this this fish is gonna give me a fight for my money here. keeps pulling the line out. Okay, we're getting a little bit of headway here. Okay, I think we got him, guys. Trophy Asp. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. No wonder he was such a fighter. Seven hundred fifty-eight. Let's see here. I might take this off of here. I know I won't get as much casting distance, but I'll be able to get him in a little easier. Let's see here. So I caught him right over there. They seem to really hover around those pillars. See if that makes a difference in how quickly we get them in. There we go. That's just a regular asp. Another one had gone for it, but he quit. There we go, we got him. Yeah, it doesn't take long to pull these guys in. Oh, he's little. He's a little fella. Let's try over here. Now, bottom, I mean, float fishing works really good here as well, but we are not focusing on that at the moment. 
trying to get do as much of this with just lure fishing for the moment. snag there. Alright guys, I found out one of the reasons I've been having a few troubles getting some bites is that the peak changed since the time changed here. See, now the peak, instead of being right here, is actually between 12 and 1 a.m. So, I guess sometimes that that happens every now and then it's really aggravating <laughs> we might have a different reaction now I don't know we'll see ah, something bit after it and there you go that's what the problem was you got to watch the peaks, especially at midnight, because even though you're on a particular day, the peaks could change. Let's see what we got here, guys. Trophy asp. As soon as that peak came up, man, they started biting again. There we go. Another trophy asp, guys. So far, that's been three. Be nice to get a unique. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Looks like we're still getting a little bit of activity here. And as I always say, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.